Hello and welcome to the lecture. Let's look at three things in HTML. One is white space, HTML entities, and another one is case sensitivity. Okay, so let's do an example to understand these three things. I'll call it as white space. We'll create a file called white space.html. Let's open this up. Copy the bootstrap. Okay. Here we'll do three things. So first we will see what is case sensitive. Whether HTML can understand upper caps. Okay. Because if this case sensitive, then it should not be able to understand. If it is not case sensitive, then in any case that you write, then you should be able to understand it. Then you can say HTML is not case sensitive. Okay, so let's run this. So if you're able to see H1 tag, then that is true that HTML is not case sensitive. So it's able to recognize that. And HTML is not case sensitive, which means you can write your P tag like this, or you can write your P tags like this, uppercase or lowercase. Any case should be fine. And also, we have also seen previously. Let's copy the lorem ipsum. Okay, we also seen about the white spaces. The more white spaces you have in the paragraph tag, okay, new lines, white spaces, you know, anything that you want to add in the space, right? It doesn't really matter when you add white spaces in the HTML end of the day all the white spaces will be stripped off and it will not be visible okay so you see we added the new line here after the dummy simple dummy but it doesn't really care but if you look at the output if you look at the page source you will see there are spaces available so white spaces are ignored by html you have to understand this concept white spaces are not displayed so when you're writing html don't really worry about white spaces Unless you're writing a pre-tag, then you have to worry about white spaces in the new line. But you cannot really add white spaces by adding white spaces in HTML page. Okay. Well, this brings to a conclusion. How will you add a white space? If I really want a white space, how will I do it? And how do you add a new line? We have seen this previously. Can you make a guess? How do you add a new line? Yes, we'll use BR tag. Okay. The more BR tags you have, the more new lines you'll get. That's what we are seeing it here. Right. BR tags will help you to add new lines. But how about the space? If I want something like this, like this, like this, and like this, how are you going to do it? How are you going to add the spaces, multiple spaces, right? Not one space, but multiple spaces. When I add more spaces, so many spaces should come out here. And I don't want to write under pre. I want to still write under paragraph tags. Okay. That is done via something called as HTML entities. HTML entities are short notations which you can use to replace special characters when you display them onto the HTML page. Well, HTML entities are starting with ampersand okay, and they end with semicolon. So anything that is starting with ampersand and ending with semicolons are called as HTML entities. And you can add space by saying NBSP semicolon, right? The more you add NBSP semicolons, the more spaces are being added. You are seeing on the right hand side, right? The spaces are being added. You see, the Y is moving it here. This is because of the HTML entities. So there are list of HTML entities which you can use. Well, you can use NBSP and there are other special characters as well. So if you go to this URL, I have added this URL in the material folder. So this URL basically gives you list of all the special characters. Okay. You can just use these special characters. As I told you, these are HTML entities starting with ampersand ending with semicolons. Once you use this, you will see the symbol in the output. All right. So instead of going through all these things, I'm just going to copy paste something here, just a high level list of all the HTML entities. Okay. So if you want to show less than and a greater than symbol, Typically, all the tags will not be shown here. You see, you are not able to see P, but you want to show P as an P less than and greater than, then less than 
is an html entity gt is a html entity which is representing with g greater than symbol okay so if you write this kind of html entities then the symbols are displayed typically if you write p you will not be able to display it but if you really have a need to display it then you go with the html entities okay similarly if you want to display ampersand dollar at the rate copyright symbol pi symbol you know some symbol so there is basically a list of it it's a very big list and these are the characters that basically you cannot find on the keyboard as well so it's very hard to get this copy and paste into the html page so what we typically do is we try to follow the html entities and then we use this html entities to display this special symbol onto the html pages All right if you want to show an heart you can use this heart and show onto the web page so let's look into this let's add a paragraph here okay that is how you basically add special characters that is the special symbols onto the web page and i've given this link in the material folders you can go ahead and access this page keep this as a reference whenever you want to have a reference for special symbols and you want to know what are the html entities you can go ahead and go to this entities link and then you can browse through all the different types of entities that you have you have mathematical arrow letters like punctuation greek spacing and all those special characters as well okay so understand white spaces it is ignored html is not case sensitive and you have and for special symbols you have something called as html entities okay so that's all for this lecture and i'll see you in the next one